Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today I am so excited to be filming. It is my first day back to filming since returning from vacation. And so I just thought I would get ready with you guys. I came back home, we were gone for a week and I came back to several PR packages. So I have all new makeup that I'm gonna be using on my face today. Um, and just kind of talking about first impressions, things like that and telling you guys all about our vacation. I thought it'd be fun just to get ready and catch up. So let's get started. All right, so I do have foundation, bronzer on concealer. So today we're gonna be playing with the Sydney Grace Summer Days palette. So excited to have received this. It's so beautiful. You get nine shades. This is what it looks like. And there's two versions of this palette, a lighter and a darker. And I'm gonna be using the lighter. The darker is beautiful too, and I feel like I could also use the darker. Um, but I thought I would use this one today. And I also wanna share before I dive into the other products, they are having their Christmas in July sale. And I picked up this little informational sheet because I don't wanna mess anything up. I'll have information in the description box. But basically, it's going on now and it runs through the morning of July 20th. So I'm gonna try and get this edited and up quickly. Um, but I think it's like every day let me see what we have uh, what it says here so each day there's a new promotion of Christmas in July it's their big sale if you haven't tried Sydney Grace I highly encourage you to check them out really great quality um, it's an indie brand Heather and I believe her name is Laura they're sisters and they run the, the business together and just really sweet like I've had a lot of communication with Heather and just like down to earth like I just, I'm just happy to support them. So we're gonna be using this on the eyes. I also came home to a beautiful package from NARS that's over there, I'll, I'll grab it later, but I'm gonna be using the Cheek Palette. It is part of their Orgasm X collection um, that launched in May, I believe. So we're gonna be using this Cheek Palette here, and then I got a sweet care package from Ofer Cosmetics, and I got a bunch of lippies and a couple of eyeshadow palettes that I will definitely be sharing in upcoming videos, but the two products today that I'm gonna be using from them are a a liquid lipstick and then also a gloss. So I want to thank NARS, Ofra, and um, Sydney Grace for sharing all these goodies with me. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Did I forget eye primer? I forgot eye primer. Hang on. All right, so I'm going to just be kind of, I'm going to try and talk about our vacation and talk about the makeup, but for some reason that is a very difficult task for me to do. Um, so let's talk about our vacation. So we just got back Friday. We got back at like one o'clock in the morning. We drove straight from Colorado to Austin, Texas. We left Colorado at like 6.15 in the morning, 6.15 in the morning, and we got to Austin at around one o'clock in the morning. It was a long, long day, but uh, it was totally worth it. We had such a great time, you guys. Um, so we, I, I, we go on vacations every year together as a family, but we always usually go with extended family too. Like we'll go with um, Paul's family and all the cousins, and we have a great time, but there's like 12 of us, you know, and the kids love being with their cousins great memories, but I realized that this vacation that we took last week was the first like big vacation that just the four of us have taken together. Um, isn't that crazy? I mean, we've gone to like little San Antonio stays or, you know, high at Lost Pines, which is about 45 minutes from here, but we haven't taken like a kind of big road trip as a, just a four of us ever. So it was really nice to do that. We went to the YMCA at, uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. And I cannot recommend that place enough if you have young kids or even like teenage kids, I think would really enjoy it. It was recommended to us by our neighbors. And um, it was it was like summer camp for the whole family. It was so beautiful and just such a special, special place. Like I will definitely uh, try and go back there every single year. Apparently it's hard to get, like we rented a cabin um, Okay, so I'm, let me just pause real quick and share what I'm doing. So I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. It's called Sand Castle. And we're gonna kind of just dust this into the crease. It's like a real pretty, like malty, like soft pink nude shade neutral. I'm gonna kind of blend this into the crease. I love the quality. I mean, look at how much color you get from the shadow. It's so beautiful. Um, so anyway, we rented a cabin. They have cabinets there and then they also have like a, I think they call it a lodge, which, I didn't go inside, but it looked like, you know, one big building with lots of rooms, maybe similar to like a hotel. But we rented like our own little cabin. It had two bedrooms, a full kitchen, everything we need to cook. Um, and then it had a bathroom and a little living area. And it was really reasonably priced. And it was just perfect because we were able to go to the grocery store and get food for the week. So we didn't have to eat out or anything. It was really such a great time. Um, and I felt really safe because we were able to social distance, you know, being that we had our own cabin and we didn't really have to go out for meals much. 
And yeah, it was just, it was really amazing. So I highly recommend it if you are looking for a little road trip destination for the family this summer, uh, check it out. I'll leave a link to the YMCA down below. Apparently it's a little harder to get cabins there. I, I think that they actually open up each year, maybe like March or something. And um, the people that we spoke to that have been going every year said that you have to like log in right at six in the morning and you kind of get in a queue and, um, and then get, you know, a, a cabin. And I actually didn't call until June. And I guess obviously because of COVID, a lot of people had canceled. And so I was able to get a cabin, but I'm definitely going to put that on our list every year. The kids had such a great time and it was, you know, we came back to 105 degree, degree temperature here in Texas. And it was like in the eighties in Colorado. And then in the mornings, it was like in the sixties. It was so nice. I think I fell in love with Colorado and I'd never been to Colorado. I don't, I can't believe that I had never been to Colorado before. And now I see why everyone loves it. It is so beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to blend this into the crease. This is a really pretty color. It's kind of like a nice mid-tone malty pink shade. It almost reminds me of a shade by Mac that I used to use called malt, but it's richer in color. Okay. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to kind of deepen it up a little bit. I'm going to use this shade right here. It's called day star. And it actually kind of reminds me of my nail polish. It's like a very soft, soft, like grayish purple. And I'm going to use the 202 brush and I'm going to use the tip of it and just kind of build this right in the outer corner to give a little bit more, just a little more color and darken it a little bit. Okay. And there you go. So we, um, let's see what, what things did we do? We took the girls to the national park and we hired like a private hike master that took us on like a five mile hike, which is a lot for the kids. Um, and it was so beautiful. I'll share some photos from our, um, hike that day. We hiked to this lake called Mills Lake and it was just stunning. I mean, you just, I just wanted to like sit there and be there all day. It was so, so beautiful. Uh, that was the only hike that we did in the park. I think if we went back next year, you know, depending on the state of the virus and all, um, you know, we might put the girls in like one of the day camps so that Paul and I could go do some hikes by ourselves. Cause I would have loved to like really hike that park. We only hiked the park one day and I would have loved to hike some more. Um, okay. So now I'm going to go into the shade here. It's called s'mores and it is so beautiful. It's highly, highly like a foiled shade. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and put this on my lid since I have it on my finger. Oh my gosh. That is, it looks like a liquid metal. It really does. It is. I mean, I don't know how they get these shadows to pay off like this. It's incredible. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. So pretty. So in the palette, it, I mean, it does look a little coppery, but it actually translates on the eye, even a little more coppery than it looks. That is such a pretty color. I almost feel like you don't even need a primer on your lid. You can just apply these with your finger on a dry lid and they will just have still have a really rich payoff. So, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This is so stunning. I cannot get over this. So beautiful. Okay. Then I'm going to take the 202 brush and I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's called beach days and I'm going to grab a little bit and come and even darken this outer corner up even a little more. Oh, hang on. We are getting our um, sofa and rug cleaned. We bought new sofas this year, about maybe maybe six months ago. And I wanted to get them, um, I guess Scotch Guard, is that what they do? Some type of protectant on them. So they're coming today to do that. Okay, that's good. I feel like I could get carried away and keep going and going and going. So beautiful. I'm just gonna kind of go and perfect this a little bit. I didn't add a color underneath my brow yet. And there's not really an option in the palette. I feel like this would be the lightest, but it's very, very foiled. And I'm not really a fan of putting foiled underneath the brow. So I am going to grab just something off my vanity and brighten up the brow bone and I'll be right back. So for lower lashes, I'm going to take this shade right here. It's called blood orange, which actually kind of surprises me because it's a really like, it's like a shimmer, vibrant kind of purple purpley shade, um, almost like a beet color. And I'm going to just, um, apply a little bit of that on my lower lash line and I'm using a 203 brush. So it's more of a fluffier brush. It's not necessarily like a, I thought I had a pencil brush. Oh, I do. I'm going to switch. I'm going to use a pencil brush. I've got, um, the BK beauty 207. So we're going to use that one 
to kind of create a smoky lower lash line. Wow, I didn't even really have to build that. That just like, that pigment payoff is so impressive. Okay, and then I'm just, I don't have anything on the brush. I just like to do this extra step just to make sure I don't have any fallout hanging out there. Um, I am gonna put a very light coat of mascara on my lower lashes um, just to kind of match the top and the bottom. Okay, I don't wanna put too much. Perfect. All right, so let's dig into this palette by NARS. This is the um, Orgasm X Cheek Palette. And it looks like it has three shades in here. I haven't even opened it yet, so I have no idea what these shades look like. The packaging is so beautiful and stunning. It's kind of like this matte um, palette with this really cool overlay of the logo. It's like got this little, like almost like a rubbery texture feel to it. Um, and you get three shadows here and a little mirror. All of the shades do look like they have shimmer to them. They do. So you have like a kind of really yellowy gold highlight shade here. Then you have like a peachy pink with a gold shimmer. And then you have this color here, which reminds me of um, like a really vibrant, look at that color. So you got this one here. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this one is this color here a really vibrant kind of bubblegum pink. And then you've got this one here, which is a softer, lighter pink. This is the one I'm gonna use. And then you have um, this one here, which is that really intense gold highlight. This is something I would probably use on my eyes. I am real careful about, well, actually, you know what? When you pay it off, yeah. When you put it on the skin, I mean, it's just a real intense highlight. Let me show you. I'm like the worst swatcher on YouTube, I think. There you go. It's just a really intense shimmer. So you'd have to, if you do put that on the face, I mean, hey, you know, who am I to tell you, right? But if I were to use it on the face, I would have to make sure that the brush that I used was really light and fluffy um, and it didn't that it didn't pick up too much product because I don't like that much shimmer on my cheeks. All right. So I'm going to dig into this center um, shade here. And I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 107 brush. And I just kind of picked up a little bit and I'm gonna smile and pop it right on my cheeks. Oh, that's pretty. What does this remind me of? Is that orgasm? That must be orgasm. Yep, <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of orgasm by NARS, which is exactly what it is. Such a pretty color. There's no reason that this is like their, one of their number one selling blushes. It's just so beautiful. Even the shimmer is really soft. So if you are someone that kind of shies away from shimmery blush because of large pores or texture on the cheeks, I have to say that the shimmer on this is uh, really refined and soft. So I like that. Okay, for lips, we're gonna open these two products by Ofra, the uh, Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade. Do they have the shade name on here? Let's see, let's open it up and see. It's pretty, it's the shade uh, Angels or Angelus, not sure. Um, and it looks to be like a, light, very light rosy pink. Oh, it actually is going on my hand a little more sheerly than I would have thought. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna put this on the lip so you can see, but I wanted to show you what that looks like. And my lips are so dry, as you can tell. I didn't wanna put any lip balm on because I knew I was gonna be using a liquid lipstick and I didn't want it to interfere with like it, the stain power of it, okay. Okay, so that's a very, very light, light, light pink. It's pretty, I don't know that I would pair it with this eye makeup though. So the gloss that I'm gonna use is gonna bring more color to it. This is like a very muted, nudie pink. It's more on the sheer side, which I kinda like. I think one of the reasons I shy away from liquid lipsticks typically is because they can be really dry and they can be really thick. But this one is not thick at all. This is very lightweight and almost more sheer when you first apply it, but then you can build it to get a little more color. I'm just gonna press the lips together. And FYI, my lips are extremely dry because of Colorado. It's so dry up there that all of my skin is just kind of trying to reacclimate. Okay, so it's drying, setting. Still feels very comfortable. This particular color has a little bit of a sheen. Okay, nice. And then we're gonna apply this lipstick, I mean, sorry, this lip gloss on top. This is the shade Golden Rose. This is what it looks like. I really like their packaging. It's very simple, but cute. Very, I, I like it a lot. So I'm gonna uh, apply this on the lips. It's kind of like a shorter, kind of chubbier applicator. Oh, this feels so good. Okay. Super, super shiny and glossy. Definitely more on the sheer side as far as pigment. So that makes it a good 
option to put over really anything. You know, the more sheer the lip gloss, the more versatile it is, meaning you can put it over really any lipstick that you have and it's not going to change the color too much of that lipstick. Ooh, that feels nice. Ooh, it's very lightweight. Very lightweight, not sticky, not thick at all. Super shiny. Wow, that is a really, really shiny gloss. I like that. And this is the finished look, you guys. I really love the way that it turned out. The lips are very soft. This uh, liquid lipstick actually translated a lot lighter on the lips than I thought it would. But I think with the gloss, it works. And I actually like it with the eyes, even though initially I thought that it didn't really pair well. I do like it because the eyes are really where the focus is at. And so the lips, I wanted to be um, more subdued. And I do, I do think that this is a good look. Um, I'll have everything listed and linked in the description box as well as um, the information on where we stayed when we were in Colorado. If you, I can't recommend enough, you guys. I fell in love with the place. We will definitely be going back and making that like an annual family vacation. It was so nice, just so nice to get away, just us, you know, and just disconnect and reconnect, you know? Anyhow, all right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.